Hello, today we are going to learn how to find the inverse element of any given circle, which can be another circle or sometimes a line with respect to a reference circle. The inversion in a circle is a transformation which transforms one point A into its inverse point A prime, whose distances from the origin O equal the square of the radius of the circle which defines the inversion and satisfies the equation R squared is equal to OA times O prime, OA prime. Circumference number one, which is located outside the reference circle. The inverse circle of circumference one is another circle, circumference one prime, which is going to be located inside the reference circle and its center point O1 prime is going to be located on the line O, O1. So the first step is to join the origins O and O1 and elongate it as shown and we will call this line R. This line R intersects with the circumference C1 at two points A and B, which can be seen here highlighted in red dots. So the next step is to work out the inverse points of these two points A and B. So let's start with point A. The first step is to work out the perpendicular bisector of the line segment OA. So to do this, setting the compass slightly longer than half the radius OA, we're going to describe, and setting the compass on O, we're going to describe an arc above and below the line, as can be seen here. And now with the same radius, and setting the compass on point A, we describe another two arcs above and below the line, intersecting the previous two arcs. And now we're going to draw a line joining these two intersections, which is the perpendicular bisector. And where this line cuts the line segment OA, we obtain the midpoint. So now setting the compass on this midpoint and with a radius midpoint O, we draw a circle which cuts the reference circle at two points, which we will call point one and point two. The next step is to join points one and two. And where this line cuts the line OA, we obtain a new point A prime, which is the inverse point of point A. So now we are going to repeat the same process with point B to try and find point B prime. So we will work out the perpendicular bisector of the line segment BO. And to do this, we will follow the same process setting the compass to a radius slightly longer than the line segment BO. We describe an arc above and below the line, as can be seen here. And now with the same radius and the compass set on point B, we describe two more arcs, cutting our previously drawn arcs to form two intersections. And now we will draw a line joining these two intersections and find the midpoint of the line BO. So now setting the compass on this new midpoint and with the radius midpoint O, We draw a circle which cuts the reference circle at two points, which we will call point three and point four, as can be seen here. The next step is to join points three and four, and where this line cuts the line segment OB, we obtain a new point B prime 
which is the inverse point of the point B. So the line segment A prime B prime is the diameter of the inverse circle of C1. So the next step is to find the midpoint of this line segment A prime B prime. To do this, we have to construct the perpendicular bisector of A prime B prime. So again, setting our compass on A prime and with a radius slightly longer than half the distance A prime B prime, we scribe an arc above and below the line. And now with the same radius and setting our compass on B prime, we scribe another two arcs, cutting our previously drawn arcs. creating two new intersections. And finally, we will join these two intersecting points to find the midpoint of B prime, A prime, which we will call O1 prime. And this is also the center point of the circumference C1 prime, which is the inverse circle of C1. We show it here in a thicker red line. As you can see here in the green, the tangent lines of C1 and C1 prime converge on the origin O of the reference circle, as can be seen here. This is a property of inverse circles, which many teachers use to check if they have been drawn precisely or not. So I hope this video has helped you. Please press like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you would like to, you can always support us by pressing the super thanks button. Until the next video, thank you very much.